Hello all, welcome back. In this lesson we are going to look at what is role based access control and what are the different uh, role assignment which we can uh, uh, do and a demonstration of how to do it. So role based access control is a, a way of assigning the users the right permissions at the right scope. If you look at Azure resource hierarchy, right? We have something called a subscription and another subscription we have resource group and another resource group we have the individual resource. And we have seen what is management group as well and a way of grouping the resources under the management group hierarchy. So if we look at overall organizational hierarchy, we might have a management group under that subscription, under that we have resource group and resources. So this is from the resource hierarchy perspective. Another thing is that we want to assign some users to some permissions. So this is where we have the user part of it. So we can assign a, a user account from Azure Active Directory directly or someone with a Microsoft account or other accounts as well. So that's user part. And there we can either assign uh, directly uh, an user or as a best practice, we can create a group and under group we can assign the users and uh, we can assign those groups to a particular uh, uh, access for the resource. So uh, that's uh, uh, other part of it. The advantage uh, is that right when uh, people come and uh, go out of an organization and if they have assigned the right group, we don't need to go and change the uh, uh, resource permissions again and again for each and every user. So that's the advantage which we bring in with group. And the third thing is if we want uh, interaction uh, between resources, right, then we have to use something called a service account or a service principle. And we can assign a role based access control or permission for that service account as well. So that's uh, who we are going to assign and uh, for what we have those uh, resources, resource hierarchy. And the third is something called a scope. So here uh, the scope may be either the management group or a subscription or a resource group or an individual resources. So currently we have three uh, uh, entities and we need to uh, combinedly assign an RBAC uh, rule so that a user or a particular group can have a permission at a particular scope either at subscription or a management level and finally what type of permission they want to have so commonly this is what we call it as role based access control and if you look at the permission hierarchy RBAC is always additive that means that if we have assigned a permission at a top level either at management group or a resource level or a resource group level then all the resources underneath uh, that hierarchy will uh, by default inherit the permissions and if you want to even restrict uh, uh, the lower level resources uh, 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 some permissions from a particular user it's not possible if the user has higher level permissions at um, either the subscription level or the management group level so that's something we need to keep in mind and if you look at different roles there are owners, then uh, there are like contributors and there are readers. So those are the uh, major three roles uh, which uh, we can uh, use. But we have a lot of other customized roles as well which is uh, specific to uh, usage of different services or uh, different uh, um, uh, 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 things like storage account or virtual machine etc. And that will provide some level of fine grain control for uh, uh, individual uh, uh, service which you want to use. If you look at the overall permission, owner uh, uh, can do everything including say for example creation of resource, deletion of resource, management of resource and if you want to add other users uh, or back permissions, everything is done by the owner. And if you look at the contributor, contributor again has similar owner level permissions for a resource but the user access permissions like uh, uh, assigning other users is not permitted with contributor. And the reader, uh, again, reader can read everything but can't change anything. So 
this is uh, what uh, uh, our back rolls are about and if you look at uh, some of the permission for uh, an administrator right so administrator can do everything so that means uh, 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 that uh, he can assign users etc so there are different set of rules which uh, we normally confused with one is uh, uh, the administrator for an azure subscription and there is again an administrator for an azure active directory as well so both are disjoint and uh, normally we uh, like people get confused between those two so when we talk about uh, 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 owner uh, uh, permission for uh, say for example a subscription then they can do all the activities like create and delete res resources and other uh, assign other users uh, uh, permission to those resources so that's for subscription level when we talk about uh, administrator access for active directory so again we have something called uh, uh, application administrator um, uh, and other uh, roles as well right so uh, those users can manage end-to-end uh, -end azure active directory users group uh, say for example registration of the applications uh, service accounts etc so those are at azure ad level so we have briefly touched upon the role assignment to whom we are going to use so it can be in either an user from azure active directory or an external account like Microsoft account, uh, Hotmail, um, Outlook.com, etc. Or even uh, we can assign it to edit groups. And that is again a best practice uh, to use the groups. The reason being that we don't need to manage individual accounts. And if we want service to service interaction, say for example, one uh, uh, service like web app is calling an uh, API app then we can create a service account uh, for the web app and uh, that will have the right access for the api app and we can use azure ready to connect uh, securely between service to service as well if we look at the role definition so we can define uh, say for example what is an uh, allowed action and what is uh, um, not action so not action means that those are explicitly denied uh, if you look at uh, uh, the table there is a owner role and owner role has in the action allowed action we have star that means that owner uh, is allowed everything so and not action it's empty that means that owner can do anything and if you look at the contributor yeah, in the action part it's everything and explicitly they have uh, disabled some of the permission as well so specifically microsoft dot authorization uh, they have explicitly denied that means that a uh, contributor can do everything except user assignment and if you look at the reader they have explicitly mentioned only the allowed uh, uh, permissions that means they can only read and not action they haven't provided anything so based on this definition so the level of access vary so if we want uh, say for example create our own custom definition what we can do is that we can explicitly say for example either uh, specify the action or not action uh, based on uh, our uh, needs for the organization and then we can create our own uh, role definition and we can use that definition to apply permissions for uh, our back access so at the end we have uh, the user org group which we know we want to uh, assign permission to then we have the right scope uh, either it can be subscription or resource group or a resource or even a management group and finally what type of permission we which we want to apply is it a owner permission contributor permission or reader permission so let's uh, switch back to azure portal to see a demonstration so now we are in uh, azure portal uh, let's go to a subscription so here i have chosen subscription so by default the scope is subscription and for every resource right there will be something called access control or iam uh, pane available so this is where we want to manage all the uh, uh, or back permissions let's say instead of subscription if i want to 
apply at a resource group level what I need to do is that I have to go to a resource group and under that resource group I need to pick uh, the right resource group and under that I need to go for access control so this is how we can pick the right scope and once we uh, have uh, picked the right scope we need to add the permissions so before adding the permissions so we need to check something called roles so in the roles if we click on that all the role permissions will be listed so here if you look at right uh, that is a owner contributor reader and there are a lot of other cu custom roles or built-in roles again for specific services which is available so based on each service uh, permission we can assign the right permission so if we click on owner we should be able to see what are the permission for the owner so currently there is an option called permissions and if we click on that it should list what a owner can do and if we have seen uh, the uh, what is the permission earlier right owner was allowed with everything in action and nothing is explicitly defined in not action that means that owner should have all the permission for all the services so here uh, we have resource provider for each and every resource and owner can do everything under that so this is how we can see for a particular role what is the permission which uh, uh, that role have similarly let's say for example if i'm uh, looking at acr pool so acr pool is a way of managing uh, permissions for azure container registry so that means that uh, this particular role will have only access to microsoft container registry now we have seen the roles and role assignments so currently if a user is having particular role this is where we will be able to see those ones so if you look at uh, uh, this particular two user right these are type app that means these are service accounts and the role of this service account is the contributor and the scope is subscription inherited that means currently we are looking at resource group level but these service accounts have permissions assigned at uh, a resource um, a subscription level and hence uh, since uh, the RBAC is additive this resource group has inherited such permission from the subscription so that's what it basically means additionally if we want to add uh, some other users at this point then we can click on add and there is an option called add role assignment so here we can click on role assignment and here uh, we need to pick a right role which we want to assign it can be either uh, say for example a contributor a reader etc so let's uh, pick a reader role and here uh, we want to assign it to particular user group uh, or a service principle uh, right so if we search for some name yeah so uh, by default i don't have too much users into azure active directory so if i pick my name and if i click on uh, save so this will add uh, an rbac access uh, uh, for me with reader permissions so this is how uh, rbac works and one more thing is that right we have discussed some of the classic uh, roles as well right so uh, we can still assign those classic roles as well like service administrator or co-admin but that is only mainly for managing the classic resources uh, which has been created earlier and if you want to manage those we can do those ones but at this point it's not recommended but we still want to use it uh, here are the ones we will be able to see those assignments and we want to add click on add there is an option called add co-administrator here we can add those code administrator and we can use uh, classic permissions as well and if you want to check whether a particular user is having some permission then we can uh, search here
and we will be able to see what is the permission this user have. So that's all for this 